Hey everybody, it's Half Monty, and um, I suppose if you clicked on this li link, you want to be like uh, MacGyver, or maybe you're locked out of your place and you're looking this up real quick. Um, but uh, this is how to pick a lock with uh, two paper clips. That's what I got. And uh, picking a lock's not that hard, but it's not easy, not simple. You gotta know what you're doing. So uh, I drew a couple of little diagrams if you. Can't. I'm, I'm. See, the, this. And this are my good diagrams. Just, just forget about that one. <laughs> um, so this is the inside of a lock, supposedly. Um, and these are the pins. And I have four pins here. Obviously, different locks have different amounts of pins. Sometimes it's three, sometimes it's five, whatever. And uh, each pin has like a break in it that once you line it up with the top, like say if you put a key in, it pushes those pins to their certain spot where it has a break in it, then the lock can rotate and it'll rotate to like sometimes all the way around to the same pins or sometimes it'll rotate 45 degrees or whatever and then there'll be another set of pins um, but uh, yeah that's a basic concept the, the pins need to be pushed up to the exact point of where they catch and then you can rotate the whole cylinder and that's that's basically how a lock works that's kind of necessary in order to do this now uh, as far as what you're going to need, you're going to need basically two paper clips. One of them, I curled the end into a little hook. Uh, that, not very easy to do. You're going to need something to... I used a stapler, actually. Just anything you can use to kind of squeeze that into a nice sharp little end. Um, it's bent kind of weird just because that's how I've been using it. Um, and then this is going to be your rake and this is going to be your tensioner. Tensioners needed to apply, well, tension to the lock itself, and the rake is to move the pins. Now, <clears throat> I have a very simple lock here, and to demonstrate that it's unlocked, see, so yeah, unlocked, I'm going to attempt to lock it. I don't have the key to this, so I was wondering if I could do this, found out that I can. So, what I do is with a little hook, I um I kind of stick that in there, and uh, actually I'm gonna change the angle of this to this way, so it's kind of a little out of the way. Now what you do is you can see the lock kind of turn. I'm not blocking the light. The lock turns. You want to apply tension in the direction that the lock is supposed to go. Let's see here. Okay, and now I'm just gonna do a couple breaks on the pins. Raking basically means you. Oop, that was pretty easy. Raking is basically just scraping along the pins, and because you're adding tension, as soon as the pin break hits the spot where it's supposed to, it catches. Um, and uh, not all locks are easy to rake, but uh, let's see here. Turn that all the way. Okay, my tensioner's not that strong, so I'm gonna use the back end of the. There we go. Back end of the uh, um, paper clip to finish it off, and now. It's locked and I can't unlock it because it went all the way. And see, I'm not fooling you here. That is that is locked. Okay. And uh, can't just can't just turn that back. So I'm gonna have to actually. If I want that undone. If I can. Oh, okay, hold on. There we go. Now I need to apply tension in the opposite direction. Get my rake here. Now this is obviously not like the best lock in the world here. Oh, come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Dirty little hoe. Come on. The tensioner's going all over the place. Can I do it? Can I do it? Of course I can't. Now, if you can't get this on the first try, don't be discouraged. You doing using paper clips, especially on a good house lock like a Schlag or Slade or whatever this, you know, a good brand of lock. It's not going to be that easy. All right, you reset. I think a pin got caught in the wrong spot. This is not going 
course the first one went easy. Alright. Also, don't get frustrated. If it wants to open up, it'll open up. Now hopefully, you aren't going to use this for getting into people's houses or nothing. And again, house locks are different. You're going to need better tools than probably paper clips. But this should work for most simple locks. I think there's one pin back there. I just can't quite get in the spot. You also gain a feel for it the more you do it. There we go. Finally. Probably couldn't even see any of that happen, but there we go. Unlocked it. Can't get my tool out, but there we go. And that, okay, and now it's unlocked. Whew, that was difficult. Um, the second one was, but uh, that is how to lockpick with two paper clips. And don't do anything bad, but uh, hopefully that'll save a few of you from like 60 bucks of spending on locksmith if you lock yourself out of somewhere. I've actually done a house my own uh, house before um, so it's possible um, with just whatever you find but that's the basic premise of it and if I can do it you can do it it's been half monthly <laughs> showing you how to pick a lock